Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you what I like to call my lover's chocolate mousse. I call it that because whoever you make this for will fall madly in love with you because it is just the decadent of all decadence of desserts, if that even made any sense. But it is just, it's Valentine's Day right around the corner, okay? Now you know chocolate is going to be all over the place and what better way to say I love you to someone or that you find them to be so special than serving them homemade chocolate mousse. I like to think that that's how I got my husband. Anyway, this recipe is incredibly easy to do. I'm going to take all the fear out of you out of making chocolate mousse by taking you over the ingredients first so we can get started. You're going to need some bittersweet chocolate chips, a little bit of unsalted butter, you're going to need some heavy cream, sugar, vanilla extract, water, a pinch of instant espresso powder, an egg yolk, and an egg white. Now, let me give you a few tips here. Keep the heavy cream in the fridge until the last minute you're going to whip it up because that way it whips up much, much faster. And always do it in like a ceramic bowl or a glass bowl or a metal bowl. Never do it in a wooden bowl because it doesn't really mix that well. The first thing we're going to do is actually whip the heavy cream because I'm actually just putting it into this little bowl. All I'm going to do is just Whisk this until it gets nice stiff peaks, and then I'm going to pop it in the fridge while I work on the rest of the recipe. My cream looks great. Now, I should have used a bigger bowl, but I didn't, so I just switched to my little half moon whisk here just to make my life a little bit easier. Now, I'm just going to pop this into the fridge, and we'll go into the next step. Now, in this bowl, I'm going to put in my egg yolk and my sugar, and it's not a whole lot because this is just enough for two people, and I'm going to just Mix this until, for a good minute or two, or until the egg yolk becomes nice and pale, like a thick, pale color. That looks perfect. Now, it's not a whole lot, like I said, but that's because we are only making enough for two people, because it's Valentine's Day. So let's get going to the chocolate part of this. Now, what I have here is a little saucepan with about an inch of water. Now, I'm making a double boiler. Now, basically, I'm going to take a little bowl that fits snugly over the top of this little saucepan, but you want to make sure that the bottom of your bowl does not, by any means, touch the actual hot water. Because if it does, what's going to happen is it's going to char your chocolate. Really, it's going to burn it so badly because it's so hot, you don't want to do that. So, in here, I'm going to put in my chocolate chips teeny, teeny, tiny bit of butter, about a tablespoon or so, maybe a little bit more if you're feeling funky, a little bit of water, and just a pinch of some espresso powder, an instant espresso powder. Now, like what I always say, the coffee really brings out the flavor of that chocolate. It makes it something to remember. It kind of brings it all to life and makes that chocolate taste so chocolatey. It's insane. So what I'm going to do is just literally babysit this until all the chocolate is melted and it's a nice smooth mixture. The chocolate mixture looks absolutely perfect. Now what I'm going to do is take it, I can do it, take it off the heat and then I'm going to take about a quarter of this mixture, whoa, I'm not going to take the whole thing, just a tiny bit, just to temper the eggs. And what that means is that I'm going to be able to get the eggs up to a hotter temperature without getting them scrambled. If I put them directly in there, chances are that they would scramble and that's just not pleasant. So, it does not need very long at all. This is going to go right back in. That's my, my treat. Put your egg yolk mixture right into the, thing, into the bowl with the melted chocolate mixture. That's just lovely and perfect. Teeny tiny tad bit of vanilla extract, not a lot, plenty. Now I'm going to give it a heads up by stirring it here, kind of mixing the whole thing together and get your spatula to help you. Now my bowl is small because I needed a small bowl to fit tightly on top of the pan. So that looks great. Now I'm going to put this back on here on simmer. I'm going to let it cook, stirring constantly for a couple minutes or until it's like thickens and that also cooks the egg yolk. A chocolate mixture, I had it on my double boiler for just a few minutes after I added in the egg. Let it cook and now it's perfect. I'm going to set this aside to cool. That has to cool. You can't add it into the egg whites. But we're going to work on the egg white part. 
My egg white, I'm going to put it into a bowl, just like that, and just taking a whisk. If you're using the same whisk for this that you used for your chocolate, make sure you wash it super, super well because if anything's dirty, the whisk or the bowl, the egg whites will not form stiff peaks. So just continue to mix this until it forms stiff peaks. There go your stiff peaks. That is what you're looking for. So now what we're going to do is we are going to pretty much mix all of our three elements together. But doing this really carefully and you definitely want to make sure that your chocolate mixture has cooled a bit before you do this. You don't want to deflate the eggs, you don't want to deflate the heavy cream because you worked hard whipping that up, you know? So now I'm going to add in my heavy cream that we whipped up and all I'm going to do is just fold everything together until you have one solid chocolate mixture. That looks scrumptious. Now all I'm going to do is divide this between two little trifle dishes. I'm going to have a nice chocolate mousse once it sets. Just, I love it. There's very few things that scream decadence and romance as much as chocolate mousse. But it's just the ultimate. Now the not so wonderful part about this recipe is that this needs time to set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the plastic wrap and you're going to need a minimum of four to six hours but I like to do this overnight because once you do it overnight you really get that incredible mousse texture. So next time you see me I'm in a different outfit because it'll be a different day. So I'll see you tomorrow. I had my chocolate mousse chilling in the fridge overnight and now it's time to serve. Now however you serve this, it's completely up to you. You could do a little whipped cream on top. I personally just like to do a light sprinkle of confectioner sugar. Oh, yes. Strawberry, you can either put it right in the center or right on the cup so that nothing messes with the goodness, chocolatey goodness. Now you have to see the consistency of this. I mean, Look at the consistency. Look at the lightness. Look at that. I mean, if that's not the most incredible looking chocolate mousse you've ever seen, I don't know what is. But you know what I always say? The taste is what it's all about. There is a good reason why I call this lover's chocolate mousse. When you make this, for someone, whoever it is, will fall madly in love with you. It's so incredible and it's easy to do. I hope I've helped you get rid of all the fear you've ever had over making chocolate mousse because it really is simple if you just follow this recipe and you know, the, just the steps I took you through. It's, it's air. It's like the most delicious, lightness, like light chocolatey goodness ever. Make this for Valentine's Day for your special Valentine. I guarantee you they're not going to be disappointed. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. You have to go to www.lauraindthekitchen.com because there is going to be the recipe for this. So you can print it out, make it for your loved ones, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.